Hey, what's up guys? Man, it's Sunday. Day four of actual working on the truck. And uh, let me tell you, I'm sick as a dog. Um, this is like peak pollen time. And uh, I've, I've been feeling bad for a couple days, but it don't matter. I'm gonna push through. And uh, let me let you in on what's going on over here, huh? All right, so here's our mess right now. We got two dogs that don't belong to us. We got old tires, we got new tires, we got the truck, we got some tables full of stuff, we got tools everywhere. Uh, the, the TRX is as dirty as it's ever gonna be again. We got some fuel in that mobile truck over there. Uh, hi puppy. Let's get a walk around here. Chambers, hoses, valve, valve, brake valve, leveling valve, drums, shoes, S-cam bushings, seals, slack adjusters. These bushings were good, so we didn't bother changing those. We got uh, the upgraded uh, axle bolts or uh, hub, hub nuts uh, cleaned out. We got new exhaust. We're gonna put the shields on here in a little bit. Uh, we did some airlines on the transmission, all of the ranges work. And uh, today we're going to uh, get the fuel cells cleaned out, get the fuel lines figured out, get some fuel in that thing, and uh, get it ready for a test drive. I'm going to throw these wheels on, and uh, I hate that, that that guy greased that all up and didn't wipe it off, but you know you get what you paid for. And uh, we got new steers. We got all new drives except for two because two were unavailable. We got these as spares we're going to bring with us. Um, we got the car trailer. We're going to put Chad's uh, car up on here, tow it behind the the uh, TRX. Me and Chad are going to take turns driving. I'm going to hit the first. Uh, I'm going to hit the first drive. So if anything happens, I'm the only one that uh, potentially gets hurt. And Chad's going to pull his car with the TRX, and then when we trade off, me and Jessica will be in the TRX, and Chad will be in the, in the, oh, hey, uh, Chad will be driving Marla, and I'll be in the TRX. That's the first time you guys have heard that. Uh, we just, we just got it named last night. Jessica settled. It was between Merle, Pearl, and Marla, and because... I had a crush on Marla Singer from uh, from Fight Club, and I know all you guys did too. That's why we decided to go with Marla. And so, uh, anyways, I got to get started. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. This has been a great adventure, and we're gonna we're gonna get this thing finished up. Chad's up inside, uh, cleaning her up for the trip. He's gonna install CB, and we're gonna make stuff happening. And uh, we're gonna drive this thing 11 hours home. All right guys, so uh, what's going on here is we got 40 gallons of fuel in that and uh, Roger's putting it in the tank. We just got the fuel lines rigged up and and uh, I'm gonna get underneath and drain the diffs and the transmission and we'll get those filled up. So I'm going to bring you over here. Alright, here we go. Let's get under there and get some oil out. look I know you're at a kind of at a disadvantage because you can't be under here with me but uh, 
we're just going to see the initial load that comes out and then we're going to go ahead and drain her down I mean you know there's some metal in it um, you know but depending on how long it's been like that uh, it's not horrible so we're just going to let her drain down because we're going to refill it On that 10 gallons. Okay. I'm just going to leave this laying across you though. So we can get the rest. That's all you're putting in with 10 gallons? That's all you wanted, yeah. I think probably just to make sure it works. There, right? okay, thank you. Hey, I'm gonna need that other drain pan quickly. The other pan? Yeah, the new one we bought. Okay. How many gallons is that supposed to be? 24.4. Hey, guess what? It, it's, it worked out fine. I was I got nervous, but it, it just stopped uh, going like a mad dog. So we're good. Well, then we just go pour that How's in the bushes, that stuff? right? Uh, it had a lot of metal in it. Really? Yeah. Like this right here. Nothing like that. Okay. Ain't nothing. It could have been from a way long ago blown up one. No big pieces of bearing or anything. That's nothing, dude. Okay. I'll eat that for breakfast. <laughs> oh, you're you don't eat breakfast, bro. Well, yeah. <laughs> nice. Now you're on it. Now I'm into it. Okay, Rod, you wanna um let's it, let's use this all first. What is that? 8090? Yep. We'll use his first. And then we should just use his bucket because this is a good setup. Yeah, and we don't have to carry ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, clean this off and I'll put it back in. Is there a top fill on this? That's in the back. Right? If you look right in the middle of the back. So there, it's just that hole. You fill it up to a hole. Yeah. Okay. Let me start doing that. Uh, not until I put a plug in. Wow, fuck. All right. I hear you. You know. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of metal in there. That's not bad. So, That's a million miles. Think yeah. about what your knees it's look probably, like. Think it's, about the dust on your yeah, knees. Yeah, it's probably the uh, it's probably from a long time ago's blowed up wren. You know, yeah. this wren's probably been changed four or five times in a million miles. Easy. There's a manu uh, a tag that said 94 on it on the middle one. I think 94. I mean, it might 84. Been 84. It might have been. 84. Yeah, usually they don't change the housings, but they could. Not sure which is worse, diesel or gear oil? Yeah, diesel, field, diesel fuel and gear oil. Well, it's like when it's on your gloves, it kind of smells like both of them went through a microwave. Yeah. It's real, it's got a good powerful funk to it. Okay, and that's the thing, don't lose it. Lose that immediately. Lose that immediately, yes sir. Exactly, exactly what I... Pitch it into the lake. Yep. Has anybody talked to the girls? Yeah. What are they doing? Uh, well, one of them is sleeping, and my wife is waiting for one to wake up. Okay, that's normal. My wife sleeps till 11 every day. Hey, you know. And then she takes a nap. Then she takes a nap from 5 to 7:30 or 8, and then she stays up till 2 a.m. and sleeps till 11. Dude, it's like the people made that way. I can't do it. Yeah. I like wish I could honestly. He said, if we need anything else. Help ourselves because he's not going to be here. Right? Yeah, <laughs> just that's all I got to come up with. Really? Just yeah. I can't. I tried. Watch out. Oh. Oh, damn it. My bicep tendon. Ah. 
I know, but it scared me, so I jerked back and hurt my bicep. That's what happens. Oh, I'm so frustrated with it. You take it off. You're not gonna be able to get that out if you if you don't take it off. You know what? You're right. I know I am. You're right, Chad. I hate being. Right. No, you don't. You love it. You Look how hard it was though to get off. Now we got to get Roger to do the transmission. What drain it? Yeah. Well, listen, on the clutch. listen, I did too. Here's the situation. If uh, if it needs a clutch, tomorrow we're going to put a clutch in it. Okay. You 11 will come by. 11 will come by. We'll pull it off. And if we're going to put a clutch in, I'm going to put a transmission in it. So we'll see if LKQ can get me a transmission, and we'll swap it. What do you mean? Should be a big fat square, right? No. That one should be? Uh -uh. This is the same one I got in my trucks. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Bottom's rusted out though. Well, it's it's fine. Fleet guard. That filter looks clean, dude. <coughs> so this is what we're doing. Roger's gonna be underneath. He's letting a lot of little oil out of the trans. Well, and I'm wrench. I'm told that uh, I'm told that uh, you can't put 8090 in a transmission. I'm told that you uh, can't put 89 in a transmission. My allergies are whack up here in the mountains. I'm dying. But um, another thing we're doing is we're hooking up the batteries. And they've got these special quick disconnects. And uh, the red one is missing. And so we're still, we're just trying to figure out what we're going to do about that. Um, I don't know yet. We're going to try and find it. If we can't find it, let me cut this off and and scab on a new one and put it on a ring terminal but there's a reason it's on a quick disconnect so i want to keep it that way this right there go ahead and uh here let me put this oh, i got video um yeah no i just wanted to do it don't be water please here, here you go looks good Boom, it's thick Yep, and it's oh, nice. It's nice. It's good. Um, Let me you, taste it. Hold on. Hold on. Did you see any any on the bottom? Did you look at all the plug or not? No, we didn't. I don't think we got it. Up the, there. there was not. There was one little clump. It's clean. Yeah, it is. You can see it right through my fingers. I'm gonna turn you guys it's around, clean. and then we're gonna give it a taste and see if there's any contaminants in it. Yeah. Okay, so we got it. a little bit of this. Mm. Oh God. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's clean. In case you guys wondered. Oh, um, yeah. All right, Raj, so uh, just put her back in, and then we'll open that side hole and uh, see if it's full. All righty. All right, going to get us in trouble. All right, go ahead. This is amazing right here. I've never seen any with the diamond pattern before. Maybe that's just because it's got the button tuck interior, the VITs, but... And what are you so doing to them? All this, I'm cleaning this off because the underside of these, I, you can probably see it on some of this right here. Oh, see there's some, some, mold some mold in, in there. Mildew, yeah. Whatever. Um, because you know it's so old it had that lot the water leaks up at the top which we're getting ready to fix up there in the aerodyne glass mm -hmm. the seals are shrunk so there's a gap so we're going to take for now just for a quick fix to get us back to where we need to go in georgia i'm going to take some duct tape i'm going to stick it on the back side i'm going to shoot the inside with caulk on the outside so that way it fills up because we, if we run this truck tomorrow it's supposed to storm it's supposed to get nasty we don't want water coming down on us now we already had to take off these pads right out here in the yard because uh, those right down by there by that bucket we had to take those off because those basically those windows leaked you can see a gap in there if you can get right in the middle of that window mm -hmm. which I don't know if you can or not there's a gap that you can see off that before but that just over time the Sun just beats down on that and it eats that stuff up and it disintegrates so what happens is you lose that stuff Roger you're dripping diesel on your jeans right on your calf um, that stuff disintegrates and then water just goes in there and that happens with all aerodynes. I have never seen one that doesn't leak. My Frankenstein has the same thing. First thing I did was caulk them, filled them up, but I bought seals so I can actually replace that stuff. So I'm getting all brand new glass, which I've got the seal numbers. So he's going to get the seal numbers and he's going to be set up. So he's got that take care of. But for right now, we got to get this clean because 
We want to be in that truck driving at 600 miles. We're not trying to eat more of that mold and get sick from that stuff. So that's what we're doing. Adjust quick detail, sex it up. You know what time it is. Try and finish up cleaning this thing. We're getting ready to, to start the truck off its own fuel system instead of the old yellow bucket. And uh, once we do that, we're going to uh, get the cab down. Oh, I got to do some wiring. I'm going to do a little bit of wiring. I shouldn't have put that. God dang it put that intake pipe back on and I need to get under it. So we'll go back and undo what I just did and we'll fix up the Jake wiring. For now. So for now, I'll go and undo what I just did and redo what I should have done in the first place and for now, I'll see you. So I ran it out of fuel, um, but it sounds like it's picking it up now. I forgot to switch the line over. So uh, seems like it's good now. Gonna let it, let it idle too long. Because uh, you know it's hard on a Detroit to sit and idle. But it won't hurt it for five minutes. And we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get a little heat in it. Well, there it is. I mean, it's pretty quiet with those mufflers on there. We'll get right down the center of it. So you can see it. The exhaust looks pretty straight. It's got two different stacks, so they're not they're not perfect, but uh, but it looks good, runs good. Hey guys, what's up? Man, what a frustrating day. It's just been all this tedious stuff. And so, you know, everybody's on each other's nerves. We're cussing at each other and stuff. And, uh, you know, we're sunburned, purple, and it sucks. Uh, but we're gaining on it. So, I'm just coming back from a trip to the woods to have a little relaxation. And uh, Roger's about done for the project. He's got to get back to his own life. So it's just going to be me and Chad. And uh, we just got some tedious stuff to do. I think we're going to... I'm going to do up the Jake wiring. Uh, check some lights and stuff. And then we'll get the stuff out from under and start this thing up. And get the cab down started up. Going to drive it here in a second. Don't go in the water. I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna be the one that goes down the mountain if something goes wrong, Drudge. Yep, put your hand in there, hand up there. Three points of contact. Here. Huh? Here. Here. Thanks. Okay, you guys ready for this? If it starts running away from me down that way, I'm gonna to turn towards the house. The house will stop it. Yeah. Where it's yeah, at. give me some spray. It needs to be up there. It's right in the middle where the thing is. We got jacket back up. Just work it. It's just right. tight. You're fine. You're Here, fine. Spray it anyway. Get up under the pedal. Up under the pedal and spray it. All right. Did it do anything? Yeah. How about that? Now that we warmed it up.
No clutch brake. Probably stop. When I push down, you hear it? It's probably frozen. Just the gear or the clutch? Clutch. Right where they parked it. Shut it down and open that door. Go over there and open that door. Okay, so I'm going to put it in gear. No. Hold that out. Hold the kill switch out. Got it? Yep. Just hold it right there. Yep. Clutch doesn't work. Okay. Why, why it. Okay. I got it back in now, okay? It won't matter. It's in gear and I can't get it out. Stuck in gear? Yeah. Hold on. Hold it out. Got it? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Let me up. Yeah, the clutch doesn't work at all. Usually a clutch doesn't fail disengaged or engaged. It fails disengaged. This is a deal breaker. Damn it. You getting up onto there? Yep. Come on now. You need a light? I got two. Somebody get in and push the clutch. Yeah. Let off. Well, that's interesting. What? It looks like it's working. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna hit it again. Yep. And the biggest problem is the clutch is not. Um, is it moving or not? Yeah. How much gap you got? <laughs> when the reason why the clutch pedal feels so weird is because half of the half of the throw of the clutch. Uh -huh. is uh, is permanent. So instead of it being forward all the way, and then you press it, it pulls it back, it's pulled back halfway normally. So the clutch um, the clutch fork is a quarter of an inch from the uh, bearing. So I need you to- We need, need adjustments? To, is that, could we adjust it? I don't know, I don't think so. Um, pump that clutch pedal. Pump it? Yeah. Super weird. Mm, now you can hold on for a minute. Bump. Oh, dude, it's full of nuts. That's what's wrong with it. No, I'm not cheating you. Bump it. Wait. Are you on? Are you on camera, babe? The clutch is full of nuts. These nuts. Pump the clutch pedal. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of nuts packed in there. It's never gonna work. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to use the vacuum. The sandwich is really good. Oh, good, I'm glad you like it. Give me the air nozzle and some safety glasses. The air nozzle. Hey. Hey, Chad. Yeah. Just keep stroking the clutch pedal.
any any more pedal? Not really. Keep bumping it. Are you going all the way to the floor? Yeah. It's not moving very much. This is a horrible place to lay while you're doing this. Any improvement at all? Press it. Let go. Is that all the way off? Yeah, that's on. That's all the way back. Pull the clutch pedal up. It is. Give me a pry bar. Press the clutch. Let up. There you go. Yeah, see right there is where it's supposed to be. Yeah. And then when you push it back, push it down a little, see? It's not even moving the clutch there. Can I adjust that? There's way too much free play. Can I adjust that with this down here? Hello? Yeah, it Hope is. So. Been out here for four days now. Four. It's four or five. I don't four. even know. A lot. See if you can pull your mirror back so you can. There you go. Okay. Right here. Oh, snap. Here it goes. Maybe, hopefully. The brakes are locked up. I'm sure that, that I did that. It's sat for 20 years. It's yeah, no, it's, one it's of probably things. not even that. You know, it's probably, probably got nuts in it. I don't know what's going to happen. Probably got nuts in it. Hey. Thanks. Oof. It's probably got nuts in it. <laughs> are they releasing? 
Yeah, they went in, huh? Oh, look. This valve is stuck. Stuck open? Yeah. You want to throw some lube in there? Cyclo breakaway? Uh, I'm not immune to it, but I'm just wondering. I don't want it to get in the whole system. I mean, if we plug that, then these brakes won't work at all. Yeah, uh, we're just going to plug this. Here, let's just keep let's just keep trying it. Go up there and press the brakes, Raj. Maybe, maybe it's just stop. Yeah, maybe it's going to Yeah, if it's How hard do you want me to press it? Yeah, I mean, your hand. Press. Let off. Let off. For okay, so stop long with all that water and yeah. shit stop. in there. Did you fix it? No. There's a there's an extra plug. Um, we'll take this fitting out and plug it. Take it out and fix it. I do. <laughs> right? Is this what you wanted? Yeah. Oh, the brake the brake valve is wide open now. So well so Close it. It'll go back out. They were when you push that in there. When I went to the Yeah. Yeah, the brakes always work. This valve is stuck. Wide open. All the air out. Wide open. Let's just put all the air out. Yeah, that's good. I don't think we can fix that. Because see that's sealed. That that's right. That's pressed in there. Yeah, that's what we can do. Well, let's plug it. Be done with it. Plug it. Be done with it. We got, plug it. we got brand new brakes on the back, and we got... And I'm not jakes. hauling any loads. And of course we're not hauling no loads. I can't haul any loads like this. Bro. No. It's fine. We can get a new one if you want yep. to tomorrow morning. We're definitely getting a new one and tomorrow. And so I free, fleet tried parking lot. <laughs> the Crete ride. How many beers have you had? Listen, I've been up since 4:30. Okay, I tried to edit a video because you wanted me to upload a video, and the next thing you know, you're like, "Don't, don't put it out. We yeah. can't put it out." So I didn't that put is, it out. That is my fault. Everybody, stand back. It's crazy. <laughs> in case you get stuck? The, the guard? Okay. <laughs> I'm on his phone and he's up there with no phone saying he's going for a ride. I was waiting for it to get air back since, you know, you've seen him just let it all out. Sun's starting to go down. It's starting to get a little chillier now. Not too chilly. Still warmer than the last two days, but it's windy again today. You're good. There he goes. Toodles. <laughs> Sketchy with one set of brakes. There goes Marla. Look at that scenery with Marla. Cool, buddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm 
You're good. <laughs> Everybody has a camera out. <laughs> I don't know where he's going to, but him going. <laughs> and bye. <laughs> Is that cool or what? Super cool. <laughs> Super. <laughs> <laughs> How was his first ride? Tell me everything. Oh. Oh, snap. Yeah, we ain't gonna be able to pull no mountain for that. I don't know what the fuel pressure is. Um, I don't know if this air filter gauge is right. Is it reading low? Or just not at all? Uh, it's buried like it's got some oil. Huh? It's got some oil. That's, uh, that's called a slobber tube. That's detour. Oh. So it doesn't make any power at all. None. <laughs> like it ain't even making 150 horsepower. So we got a couple of potential problems. We got a plug fuel filter or a plug air filter. Well, the easiest thing would be the fuel filter. I mean, you could always take, well, you want to take the tube off? Yeah, let's take the tube off right, right here and get a chance. Give me a... Seven, that's like a 5 sixteenths, yeah. maybe. 5 sixteenths of a gun, you'd be straight. Yeah, I mean, and, and it's almost unusable. Like, was it spinning the tire, those tires out there? I don't know. I was uh, I was trying to holler at you over the seat, wild like it turkey. Was, it, felt, <laughs> it felt like it was just spinning one set of tires. It, uh, honestly, if that's the tire that spins, you should put those on there. Well, I mean, I feel ya. Why isn't one of these on this side? Because they didn't have any. They had six, so I bought six. Right, but I mean like... Because if you put a new tire with an old tire, it'll wear the new tire down to the old tire. Oh. You can't do that. You have to change the prayer. Yeah, this is going to be a long, non happening thing if, uh, if we can't free this out. Clutch is all the way up at the top. I want to know if the tires were spinning. Were the tire was were those tires spinning out there? Is that why it wasn't moving? Because if not, the clutch is just spinning. The clutch is just no. Spinning. You weren't doing a burnout or anything. No, oh, that's not good. Exposure. Come on with your tall ass and get that fucker here. I can't do it if you're doing it. Well, I'm trying to decide if that's even a thing. I don't even think that's a thing. You'll have to take this one off too. This one. And then rock that top piece. I don't think that's it. But see if you can rock that piece of paper. Pry bar! Doesn't matter. Burn out. 
well, makes no horsepower at all. It's here. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're correct. No. It's one step closer. I mean, it is better than being back there in the grease. And so I'm saying, you could. I'd rather work right here than in the grease. Yep, me too. Working in that grass is no fun. anything wrong with the fuel, but um, it could have a bad fuel pump, and that could be why it might not make the power. The fuel pump's a change on this. Did you get the fuel pressure? Did, does it not read? doesn't work. Rand up. Randall responded. Randall right did? What did he say? What you got? John, hold him down there. I can't hold him down. I'm standing next to him. How's that? One. The left. The left. It'd be easier just turn oh, up. Oh, up the ground. Huh? It's the ground.